the ongoing saga of the LED floodlights above my bench. Now, those of you who watch this channel a lot will know that I got a couple of 20 watt floodlights and they turned out to be 10 watt floodlights, so I retrofitted them with 20 watt uh, drivers and uh, I put a 20 watt LED in this one and a 50 watt LED in this one up here. And uh, the idea of using the 50 watt one was because um, it's got the five rows of chips, but they're only being driven at 20 watts, it was going to spread the current about. And likewise, this one up here has two rows of chips because it's an actual 20 watt LED and each of those rows is 10 LEDs except this one's gone out and it just did it there and I turned the lights on well I didn't turn the lights on manually I've got, I've got a passive infrared detector here and when I work, walk up to my bench and start working the lights come on themselves and, and as long as I'm working here the lights stay on and if I'm away for about five minutes they'll go off again quite handy it means I don't leave it on accidentally and forget about it but uh, so I'd like to actually show you this. I was hoping to just reflect the light off this plastic case to show you that that is just one strip of 10 LEDs, is it? And the one with 50 LEDs, uh, the middle 10 have gone out. So this seems to be the failure mode of these chips. Uh, they're, you intermittently, and then, I mean, it all happened very quickly. It was just flickering on and off for a few seconds, going bright, dim, bright, dim. And now the full 20 watts, the full 600 milliamps, is now going through one set of chips, which isn't going to last very long. And then this one, the 600 milliamps, is now divided between four, which still means it's 150 uh, milliamps per string, because uh, that was uh, just going to spread the current a lot more. But it kind of shows that, you know, this one was being underdriven, but it still failed. So I wonder how many lights are suddenly dropping in intensity, because it was quite a marked drop of intensity, because the the LEDs are just not as efficient running at 600 milliamps. And it makes me wonder how many lights are looking as if they're lit, but in fact sections of the LEDs have failed and more are going to go out. But uh, there you go. Interesting. That's a... Uh, you know, that's a, obviously the failure mode of these LEDs. So um, the good news is you can buy replacement LEDs online and you can swap them in. Um, and I'm afraid to say that you probably are going to have to. Yes, they're, they're still in their infancy and I think manufacturing is just not up to scratch.